Hello and welcome to the video series Diving into Psycho Analytics. In this first episode we are going to look at how you can assign engagement value through goals and page events. Okay, let's get started. Let's have a look at Experience Analytics. By default you would probably have a similar uh, view. By default Psycho just reports visits and page views and not much more actually. To fill any of these other uh, statistics and reports you uh, need to do some configuration. So that's what we're gonna do. So what we have set up here we have a downloads page where you can download the document, open the document containing an elephant for no reason at all and in this document there's a link to a secret page which I can view. Good. So the only thing Psychoanalytics tracks here by default is the page views. Uh, I want to have a bit more. Uh, I want to track the actual engagement. So what we're gonna do is we are going to assign a goal to this page, secret page, and we are going to track the downloads. Good, let's start with the goal. There's two ways of assigning goal. Uh, let's have a look at that in a moment. Uh, first of all, we need to define this goal. Let's go to Marketing Control Panel. When Marketing Control Panel is loaded, we go to Goals and insert a new one. Let's call it link and document click. Great. So let's scroll down and there's this field points. Uh, this means the engagement value and I'm gonna go ahead and assign a value of 8. I usually use Fibonacci numbers um, just because we are used to using these for estimates already. Good. Uh, once I have defined this goal, I go to Review and Deploy. It's very important that you do this, otherwise your goal won't be visible. Done. Good. Next step, we are going to assign this goal to the page. Our page can be found here. Demo, Secret Page. And I can use the Analyze tab and click Goals and I'm gonna have Link in Document clicked right here. If you don't find your event uh, and goal you are most likely forgot to deploy it. Save. OK. The next thing I want to do is I want to uh, trigger a page event for each download. So what's the difference between page and a goal event and a goal? Actually not much. A goal is usually just used for tracking something more significant. Uh, let's say a download is something that happens quite often. That's why we uh, use a page event there. And the goal has real business value for us, like visiting this secret page. Usually you would say adding an element to a cart is a page event actually ordering the cart is a goal. So let's go to the media library, go to our files, we have my document one here. Um, what you need to do is click view standard fields, scroll down and you are going to find a tracking field. On this you can assign a download event. This download event is here by default where ships with Psychor. So let's say I don't only have this one document but I have thousands. Uh, I usually uh, approach this a bit differently. I usually assign this download event to all documents through the standard, standard values. This makes it just very easy by having 
every document download tracked by default. Uh, let's show you how. I'm going to template, which is a PDF, an unversioned PDF. And let's check inheritance. It inherits from document. So let's check this out. Uh, for instance, image, JPEG, movie, MP3, they don't inherit from document, uh, which means there's no download event triggered, which is fine because I don't want a download event on every image that is loaded on my page. I actually just want it for actual downloaded documents. Scroll down to my advanced tracking attributes, hit download event, perfect save this um, so media items always exist in unversioned form or version form this depends on your setup uh, you can therefore assign this value to both types of media items there we go that's just fine good let's close this again let's see my document 2 which I haven't explicitly assigned the download event. Scroll down, tracking. I have now inherited this from standard values. Perfect. Now, what's next to do? Let's test this thing out. Let's go to the downloads page. Open an incognito window. Just to get a fresh session. And let's download a document. This is my document number one with the elephant and let's click for the secret page and here we are. Now, did it work? Let's check. Uh, usually you could test this using Experience Explorer This, but this Habitat demo has this amazing tab here on the side where I can actually look at on-site behavior and I can see, okay, my goal link in document clicked has been triggered. I have received eight points for this. Plus there was a download page event. So in total I have eight engagement value right now. Now, uh, so what I usually do, I assign a value to download events because it uh, signifies some sort of um, engagement if a user downloads a document. So I go to settings, analytics, page events, and here I can find my download event. By default it has zero points, so I'm going to give it a low number of points, just one. And now every download on my entire site will earn points. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to show you a different type of triggering a goal and for that we need to set up an additional goal. Go back to marketing control panel, goals, insert goal and let's call it open document 2. It has to have this name for a reason. So, let's give this 12 points. Review and deploy. Fantastic. Let's get back to our session. Um, go back to our downloads page. Let's download document 2. Open it up. Click the link and now let's see what happened. I have a document clicked event plus opened document two. So how did this happen? How did this was this triggered? I can show you. It happens here. This SC underline TRK K, uh, parameter. This is uh, a different way of triggering 
goals right uh, from a URL. So either you assign it to a page or you as add it to the URL with the goal name. It has to be deployed, obviously. So I have a bu quite a bit of engagement value now from all these events and uh, goals. I can now click End Visit. This is going to flush my session and immediately uh, start processing. Usually you would have to wait something like 20 minutes until uh, your session has ended and you can actually see the results in analytics. Good. Let's go back to our experience analytics. And you can see now something has changed. I now have this green bar indicating value per visit and number of visits and I can also see a number of different uh, reports being filled like top goals, link in document clicked, open document 2. I can also open reports like this downloads report and I can see statistics on which document has been downloaded, how often. I can open the goals report and can actually view how many goals have been clicked. I have a conversion rate on each goal and conversions and just a quick tip if you want to change the sorting of one of these tables unfortunately there's no sort button here but it can be changed. Uh, let me show you how. You have to change to your core database Let's go and look for this report. You have client, applications, experience, analytics, dashboard. You can actually see these are the sections. Going to conversions, goals, page settings, and these are the data sources for the reports. You can scroll down and down and down and here we have a key sort by metric, which is usually empty. And I can say I want to sorted by conversions so makes much more sense to me switch back to master go back to experience analytics and have a look at my goals perfect now it's sorted by conversions good so to wrap it up what did we do? We assigned goals through a URL, through a page. We assigned engagement value to goals and to page events. And we automatically track all our downloads now uh, of downloads of documents. So just with these few steps, uh, takes 10 minutes to set up. We have uh, gained a whole lot of insight over our visitors. Thank you for watching.